Hello everyone, happy Easter. Just a little activity to keep you entertained using old ties. I'm sure you have lots of these at home or you can ask around. You can make a slippery slidey snake, thank you. <laughs> um, and you can make a headband with a bow with just one tie. So first up to make your snake, all you need is 75 centimetres of the tie. Now I'm being quite specific about that length for two reasons. One, because it's really annoying to stuff any longer than that. And two, because then you won't have enough left for your um, headband if you do any more than that. So 75 centimetres of the fat end of the, of the tie. Cut that off and put that aside for your headband, which you're gonna be doing next. All right, this is going to be your snake. So as you can see, you can use things around the house like buttons and then little bits of fabric to make a little tongue and then sew those by hand to the front of the main part of the tie. Here, hand sew along the end so that it's secure. And then you're going to take some wadding like so. Now you don't have to go out and buy wadding if you do HelloFresh then it's actually those liners that come in the packs are perfect. So again, ask around and I'm sure someone will donate you one and that's all you need. Then you can also use some old clothes, old socks. It's all sneaky snakes coming in. <laughs> the girls are going to come in in a minute. So just get your stuffing, get a stick, take little bits at a time and push it all the way down to the end. There is some like gentle hand stitching at the beginning. So just be careful and just push it to one side and then keep pushing it through all the way to the end. Now, obviously I haven't sewn this one, so I won't carry on with this, but basically you just keep filling that till it's nice and stuffed. And then a little bit more hand sewing, take the label off, a little bit more hand sewing at the end, and you can just seal that. I've got an example of one of those for me, hand sewn one, here we go. There we go. All right, so you can hand sew that. You get a snake. <laughs> then with your excess bit, you can then do your headband. So let's move all this mess. So they're, they're creeping in. I can see all the girls starting to arrive. <laughs> Take a headband, find those in pound stretcher, home bargains, etc. Then you pop it down the length of the headband. And again, either with some hot glue, which generally I don't like, but this is actually quite a good use for it. Seal the ends or again, hand or machine sew. <laughs> Then <laughs> you cut off the other side and then hand or machine sew that. You'll notice I'm folding it in half. I like a little narrower fit behind the ears. So that would all be attached. And then you take the excess bit that you've got left over, do a simple little knot at the halfway point. It seems to work out perfectly, the dimensions. And then tuck one underneath the right hand side. Again, I've been using hot glue gun. But again, you could you could do it by stitch or something like a Yoohoo glue if you were more patient than me. And then take the other side, pump a bit of glue in there and stuff that underneath. So then you have a headband. <laughs> come on, girls, come and show us what you got. <laughs> Mew. <Come on, girls. laughs> then you get happy, happy snakes that you can name. You get headbands that you can wear and you get lots of fun. Gwen, are you coming in too? Come on, Gwen. Come here, Gwen. <laughs> Come on. Come in the video. Two seconds, everyone. Oh, final person. She wants her headband too. Oh, sorry, Gwen. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good girl. See you. Bye. <laughs> Don't want to turn it off. <laughs>